Hello and welcome back to another episode of Monogatari. Although something is slightly strange, I can't quite put my finger on it though. But with the world seemingly reversed and people not quite who they seem or seemed to be, where is this going? Can Aragi make his journey back? Only time will tell. Let's get into it. I uh, completely understand why it, the uh, the off-putting, confusing, slight ever so slightly um, unnerving intro. And I remember there being a time... Did something just appear that on that side that wasn't on the other? I remember there being an actual time where I was trying to read stuff reversed and upside down and all sorts of stuff just to see how much of an impact that would have on actually being able to read things. It's shocking how easily you can kind of get used to it, though. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that aspect of the water. So, do weird things like the bath water have that same properties? Not sure on the 3D of the room here, but the reflection of the light of the water effects is quite nice. Mm hmm. It's an interesting thought, though, he had there. A, uh, what, a, a sweet and pure Kamburu. Or Big Monkey Man. We have successful lift off. Have, has your, um, vocabulary shortened a bit? I'm going to say that uh, this this world has reversed all of the success stories, like saving Kamburu, Senju Gahara, um, everyone. At least the uh, ones that won't have uh, apparently a major impact on the story of how things turned out. Yeah, you don't want to be hit by that. The fact that his, his heart has the little hair antenna, I just noticed that. Does he think this world is as simple as just being mirror versions? Yeah, ha ha ha. Neko, uh, Hanakawa. What good timing. Couldn't have asked for better, actually. Actually, maybe before even being chased would have been better. Okay. Well, I'm sure he doesn't have much life force left. But it seems like I was somewhat right there. If 
Kamburu is the rainy devil and she's the cat version. The... I can't remember what the term is for what I'm hearing at the minute. For the soundtrack. Okay, done. If she, she was travelling abroad for uh, various reasons, but including trying to find Meme, so... Maybe Meme never actually moved. Oh, of course, that's where you go first. Okay. So his impeccable eye for detail is unchanged. So... It's not a, a physical, just mirror image. It's more of what is... Uh... More about what the person is or about... The... Is that an old school, like, Resident Evil reference? in case he accidentally uh, slipped through again. Is it still only she knows only what she knows kind of thing? Or is this version different? Yeah, yeah that's a, a good... A good bit of advice. He could have used it slightly earlier, though. I don't think they can be rejected, but they can be disregarded. Well, why did you just appear out of nowhere and uh, sweep him off his feet? I like that uh, that screenshot earlier. So who are we going to be presented with uh, in a bit then? And how long is he going to be lying lying down in the sand pit? Well, it didn't change. Uh, quite a few hours have passed, I'm guessing, because it's slightly darkened. <laughs> it, there doesn't seem to be a steadfast rule set in place as to what gets changed. That is an interesting uh, point of interest, though. Bookstore? Yes. Oh. He can't rest easy now. Thanks for that little uh, confirmation of what I was thinking. Or do you think that there's... what Are there reference books in reality where it just reaffirms, don't worry, we're not in a mirror, mirror image of ourselves? Just 
Just read it in a the mirror then. <laughs> he bought his magazine though. Oh, okay, fair enough. The... I wouldn't... Uh, I wouldn't expect much help from her, though. Who is being presented and brought down the stairs? The only one I can think of that would match her is Oikura. But maybe he saved her in this version. So there's not just failures, but there's also success stories. The ghost of things that could have been. Another. Of course, he can't be uh, satiated that easily. Pfft. So, yes. When he was... Uh... Well, when she was trying to make him save her from poor family life and all that, he actually managed it somehow in this in this timeline. Go on. Took his time. That's an odd thing to say. Imagine living with someone for ten years and we go, hang on a minute. Your so and so. Well done. It is nice when something just clicks into place. Hmm. But some people derive different pleasures from different things, so not everyone's going to feel that kind of elation. The fact that we haven't known this character in this kind of capacity, it just makes it all feel weird and sad at the same time. Hmm. Well, that that was not a flattering painting. I'm sure I've asked that question before, but do people actually care about those kind of things? Did he forget about the he needs to figure out what's going on and he's just enjoying this meeting? Yeah, that hurts. I wonder if he can travel between the mirror and reality uh, after this. There'll be one pleasantry, I guess. Well, it's a mirrored 
version. She's not going to be in your sister's room. She's going to be in your parents. I... I've drawn a blank on what they were called, those rolling balls to set off a chain reaction of events, machines, thing. Like a Rube Goldberg machine, something like that. They're fun to watch. They used to come up on my uh, recommended list every now and again. Who's that? Hello, Hajikushi. Ah, Nadako. Hopefully, sha sha sha. Hopefully, the killing intent from before doesn't re remain. So he didn't save, well, stop her from being the god. So what did Kaiki do? <laughs> he really suck at winking. Okay. Mm so she didn't follow her dream of being a mangeka in this. She's just an ex... Well, maybe, actually, being an ex-god. What does he have to lose? <laughs> you can't move in striking distance! Run! You can understand why he'd be... Slightly apprehensive about everything. His world has been flipped, turned upside down. No, oh, he's still a god. I thought you said predecessor. Oh, just, no, came before, I guess. Okay. What is her track record? That is going to need some explaining. Is that some folktale kind of... Yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> okay. Okay. So their offerings to the gods and being asked to uh, partake is such an honour. In the conventional sense of mirrors how they work, kind of. But when it becomes a question of personalities and histories and everything that is slightly more difficult. No, she's passed out. Oh. <laughs> Does she not get to drink often or something? To show the truth. That's a, a strange thing to think of when we've been presented with what we've seen so far. Mm hmm. So 
So they are both possibilities. within the flow of how things could have been. Dark skin, Nadiko, okay. Still with the uh, maths way of thinking about it in the background there. Yeah, but to the mirror the mirror itself it would be its right hand. Yeah, but, I suppose, but there are other things you can compare it to. That's an interesting take. Yeah. So he actually worked this one out himself, apparently. But the first rung of the stairs to the answer. I see a lot of empty bottles on the floor. But... You, you wouldn't see them as mirrored characters, no, but you'd probably recognise them as being an inverted version of something you know. What, and read through the back? It... Well, that's a horrifying image I just had. Ha! <laughs> I like that. Turns people inside out, what, so it brings out... Hmm... <clears throat> Suki was changed because that is her, her through and through. Hmm. That's kind of nice in a way, but it also just makes things harder to. When you think about Oikura, where she was, her inner self is so uh, loving, joyful. Bit boisterous, kind, and then because of what she had went through in life, but it's the same for so many who they are, what they could have been, and what they have been shaped by. Although I'm not sure about Ononoki because she was meant to be a doll. So, but does that mean that uh, if it wasn't about saving them, it's about what they are inside? that Kamburu and Hanakawa are still controlled by their oddities. But with that line of thinking, 
if it brings out their true self inside and Hajikuchi is a 21 year old big sister god then I think quite a few of you will probably be quite pleasantly happy about strolling down to your local FBI and telling them to leave you alone now because everything is fine it's fine in the mirror officer I swear and apart from Kamburu wanting to remove his head on sight and Hanakawa strolling about in her underwear actually no strike that one there's not many bad things about this version but I am kind of hesitant to see if we are get would be shown a reversed inside out kaiki if it's not the image of big daddy kaiki that I've built up in my head I don't know how I'm going to continue with life but if you enjoyed the episode and the troubling existential questions that were raised haven't sent you into a spiral of despair then leave a like on the video maybe even a comment down below but if you don't want to miss what's coming up because I'm sure it's going to be impeccable maybe subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications but after all of this I'm going to take a rest maybe you will too but join me in the next one thanks to Monogatry I now believe that there is a mirror image of me where there's actually good content out for you but unfortunately you're stuck in this reality with me if you want to be the reflections of things that could have been, then consider helping me out on Patreon. Because Sal, Raywin, Denim at 1997, Shiwan, ASD, Stinsfire, Mecha, and everyone else might be the only things that are stopping me delving headfirst into the bathroom mirror. So I guess I should thank you for that.